What are the medicine's effects on body mass index? This is a, a relatively recent study. I pointed out just to let you know yet another one that shows um, um, ADHD treated with stimulants was associated with slower early BMI growth, but a rebound later in adolescence to levels above children without a history of ADHD or stimulant use. So in fact, they saw an attenuation. And that seems to be what the literature shows. There may be a mild effect on height and weight, particularly weight, for the first year to two, and they tend to escape. Now, I'm not talking about the kid who just stops eating and stops growing. I'm talking about is there a subtle effect? And it appears that there's an attenuation of that effect out two to three years. So we're not as concerned about that anymore. And I can tell you, having practiced for over 20 years, I'm not giving the number, um, the kids that I worried about on growth hormone, I'm in a general hospital, so I've treated kids on growth hormone who are receiving replacements. The parents put them on these stretcher things at night to pull their bones and everything. Um, these kids are now taller than their fathers and a lot taller than I am. They, they're, they're doing fine. So is there a subtle effect? Um, there may be initially, but that seems to wash out after two to three years. Cardiovascular. Is there a worry about cardiovascular effects of stimulants? The bottom line is this is the largest study done, Cooper et al., and you may hear about Havel et al. in adults. ADHD meds were not associated with adverse cardiovascular outcomes in children. This, was, this study was in the New England Journal of Medicine, basically showing that there were not indications of cardiovascular adverse outcomes. So in general, they're not cardiotoxic that way. Having said that, there's still, we recommend cardiovascular monitoring, asking about things such as syncopal episodes, Dizziness. If you have a kid who has dizziness for unclear reasons, not a bad idea to start thinking about working them up. Is there something else going on? And palpitations. And have, I have to tell you, dizziness, syncope, palpitations, we've picked up a couple kids who have structural heart defects. And that happens either on or off the medications. If they had symptoms on the medicines, we stop them. We send them to pediatric cardiology, have that worked out. And we have picked up kids who have subaortic stenosis, um, have uh, a, a, a arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia and things like that. So these are symptoms that identify structural heart defects that might be a, you might pick up in a kid by asking about these kind of symptoms. And if you ask these symptoms, tell parents if these occur during treatment, you should talk. They should talk to you. 